right let's get this uh, race prediction going I've been getting some uh, comments from you guys a lot of you are going for Kipchoge and Adola saying Bikili is gonna DNF let me start by saying that this was the British winter we had and you know how uh, us British go on about uh, winter in this place until this guy showed up this uh, golden globe and this loving couple had something to say about it London started to wake up and have a, a heartbeat going. Yeah, it was a long, miserable winter. And this guy started to gather his uh, protein, his worms, and mouthful, and I let him carry on. And these three couldn't be bothered, love. This fox. Before I left him for, for Zimbabwe, it had taken me uh, seven months to hand feed him. The video's up if you guys want to watch it. He still seems to remember me. The squirrel wasn't too lazy to grab a chip and cub up. And I was longing to see somebody that could run like Bikili. This uh, stocky 80 to 90 kg guy had it going on. Until the real Eminem stood up. So I sat and watched. The master. Mr. Bikili in action. foot six probably weighing 55 56 kilos muscular long distance runner but the power that comes out of this guy when he's at full flow <laughs> soul destroyer so other runners started to show up this couple Ethiopian lady they started to trickle in and this is uh, two days before the London Marathon this time we had somebody from Japan training with the Kenyans as well some trained on their own as the race drew closer it's uh, quite interesting to notice how they train twice a day around about 6 30 maybe 10 o'clock um, for about an hour start off slow gradually increase the pace on the grass <laughs> yes on the grass um, yeah slow easy runs the hard work has been done so uh, 
just putting the final touches, I suppose. And then El Capitan entered the park. Mr. Kipchoge, sir. What's in the tank? We got one uh, Daniel Wanjiru uh, running second place there after his physio. And uh, Patrick Sang, El Kipchoge's coach, in there as well pacemakers and stuff all mixed up the ladies these guys put in a lot of work ladies gentlemen they put in tons of work what's the first prize for the london marathon male and female what we're we looking at correct me if i'm wrong is it uh 55,000 us <sighs> i mean these guys work hard man they work hard and you get 55,000 us it's a bit disheartening that eh? compared to the football guys saying that though if uh, for the men if they come in under 205 they get 75,000 US course record bonus money world record money on top But the organizers make a lot of money as well, I would think. Sponsors, entry fees, entry fees that uh, get turned away and they don't uh, refund your, your money. So for my race prediction, I headed over to the finish line. The weather uh, this afternoon was cool, a little bit of drops of rain. By the time they get to this mark, you know it's it's game on. I'd love to see a sprint finish here or somebody's legs that have been ripped off. This is down the back straight with one mile to go from Big Ben. And uh, somebody's gonna be swerving on the road like Callum Hawkins. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a nice day out. There's a nice uh, park calf get yourself some grub uh, mind how you go it's gonna be a busy day got the Queen's wildlife there ready for you to admire uh, yeah mind mind for the hidden <laughs> watch out for the hidden guys gotta love the wildlife though Carving up, son. Carving up. Keeping exercise fun. So, who's my race prediction uh, for for tomorrow, London Marathon? I'm gonna go with uh, Bikili. Bikili for the win. Mm -mm. Come on, my brother. <laughs> 